Well, good evening. I have had some inquiries on how to do maintenance on a baby lock 5260. Mine does not have differential field. It's just the regular, or feed, excuse me. It is the regular 5260. The uh, differential feed has a lever that goes on this side for the differential feed. Now, <clears throat> in order to give it a, what I call a proper cleaning, um, you only need to remove a couple of things. And first would be on this area, there's a screw on the back, I believe. Yeah. There is a screw right here on the back, and that thing fell out. I don't want to lose that, so I'm going to put it in it. I've already removed that because it slides into it, then it opens right out. So I'm going to put that screw me, I'm going to put that screw inside that storage part. And what that does is that exposes your motor. Your gears that feed your feed dogs. And then if we come around to the front, I'm going to turn this around. on the front and you would open up the front door here now there is a kit that you can get through Amazon that is a vacuum set just for sewing machines and I highly recommend getting it um, I think it's like 12 or 15 dollars and it's worth it all the attachments are tiny they're like the big ones for your big uh, vacuum cleaner you actually hook it up to your vacuum cleaner but the attachments are teeny tiny to be able to get into all these workings because what happens over time with the blade cutting you will get fibers down inside there and you don't want that so i do not have my tools down here to uh open this up so let me see if they're on here if they're not on here real tight i can take them right out and show you exactly the parts the parts that we need to now these two what they call they're called needle plate screws are extremely difficult to replace so do not lose them whatever you do I'm just gonna lift that presser foot there and a couple of things you want to have your machine un unplugged you want it turned off and you also want to not lose any of your screws fortunately I, I was eight, my fingernails are gonna be good if you can't don't have a screwdriver believe it or not you can use a dime you can use a quarter to undo these screws, that's what someone said. As long as you've got a quarter, you can, or a dime, you can unscrew the screws on your machine. And it's, I've, I've used a dime before. <laughs> no doubt. I'm going to put these screws also in that holder. Remove this plate. Put that over there so I don't lose anything. And this here, I'm going to take this foot off. So then we can see all the good stuff inside. Now I'm not sure... If this is the original foot that came with it, I was having some stitching problems, so it's possible this is the wrong foot, but I haven't tested it out since I just put this new one on there. So I'm going to put all these parts right here where I know they are. Okay? Now, cleaning your machine. Where to oil it, where not to oil it. There are no gears to pay attention to in this machine. And you really only need to deal with what's right here, which you're able to see. When you go to do oiling it the places that you want to oil it is just like anything else wherever there is a moving part that is like a metal elbow is what I call it now I know I have threads on here and if I turn it on the side <laughs> it's gonna they're all gonna come flying off but let's do it anyway that way you can see everything you need to see okay you don't want to spray any oil near your motor in the back you don't want to put any oil back here. No. Here you have metal on metal where this goes up and down. You want a drop of oil on the back side. You want a drop of oil there. You want a drop of oil here and here because this arm is what moves your feed dogs. Your feed dogs have to be able to move. This is where my red button used to be and the red button popped off of it. So I have to just remember where it is. Um, you don't need any grease or oil um, there because that's just a pressure point. 
okay? The other place you want to put a drop of oil before you decide to take off the front. Now, you don't need to take the front off, but if you think that your needle bar is not doing this job, like it's not going up and down freely enough, you can take out this screw here. There's also one on the inside right here. See, they're sneaky. They hide them places where you don't know they are. And then you go to the front. Let's pull this up like this. And then you're going to put anything that moves. You see how everything that's moving goes up or down? Then those are parts that's going to need oil at the joint. So for here, for your lower looper, it's going to be this section right here. So right behind you, you're going to put a drop. Because that's the part that's, that's the moving part, okay? For your upper looper, it is a little different. It is actually down in here, down in the bottom. So you got to look where the, it starts off the moving process. So it's down below here. You can put one behind this hook here. You can also put a drop behind this um, portion here. I mean, that's why I got the uh, sewing machine oil that has the long extender on it. And I got it at Walmart for like $7. Couldn't beat it. So after all of that said and done, and you run it a few times, and it seems a little, eh, you shouldn't need to open it. I'll be honest with you. You should not need to open it because everything, all the working parts are right here. They're literally right here. So it's behind there. You would put a drop where this metal meets metal here. And this is another, I call it another elbow spot. Let's see if I can get some, I don't know if I can get some light, more light on here, but probably going to glare. But we can go in here and I can try to point it out to you. Right here. This here and then behind there. So any place that has something, some metal around it that moves, like that moves. That piece down there moves. So where this piece moves, this this is where you want the drop of oil to be. Is in, inside there, just one drop. And same thing here. This any wheel that looks like this, that's metal on metal. You want to drop there, and where it connects in the back. Same with this one because this looks just like that. So you do the same rule of thumb for that one. And that is all you need to do. There's not a whole lot of oiling on a Baby Lock 5260, but that is where it goes.